Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Alright, so I'm just going to play my leakage tester here and I've got it hooked up to these cats which I pulled out of the V... What I pulled it out of? Those are the HP 6181B. These are the ones which are on the main power supply, as a voltage doubler and the... Um, just the general smoothing for the main power supply. And this is the, the cap which is bad, which is why it's got nicks on it. I just want to see how they come out on the leakage tester to see what kind of result you actually get from the tester. Now these two caps tested okay on my other units. So we'll see what this thinks of it. Now I've got it set at 115 volts. That's pure to get the current to go in a bit quicker. And to just stress it slightly, these are rated at 100 volts DC on all of these. So um, we'll see what we get. Right, now it's got one volt showing in there already, and I haven't even powered it yet, so it's got a bit of residual current, or residual power sitting in there. So, right, so let's try it. Notice how quickly it comes up, and the current is going in. It's only fairly low current going in, so it's not stressing it too much. Obviously, the closer it gets to the, the target voltage, the lower the current is, which is why I've got to set slightly higher as well just to help that. So it gets there fine, it's sort of a little stabilised, but it seems to be alright, it gets there. Now we release it and just let it sit there on, on the residual voltage on the, on the cap. That's now long, longer, have got any voltage going into it, it's just sitting there. And you see how much it just gradually self discharging a little bit there. Probably more of the absorption, you know, it's. Um, internal resistance has got to overcome and that seems all right it's not really dropping that much it's you know, I don't think it, this does have some loading on it so this unit is um, dragging it down slightly just for measuring it in itself it's through a five mega ohm resistor but it's still doing it and it's not too bad you see how slow it's coming down you know that seems normal really all right I'll do a drain drains fairly rapidly you know not too bad and that's through a, I think it was a 10 ohm, uh, sorry, a 10k resistor I think I ended up having on the drain, something like that. Alright, so it seems fine. I'll drain it right down, and then watch what happens when I release it. Nothing. Just, see, there you go, it's creeping up slightly. You get that um, absorption coming back, and it actually, you know, the voltage comes back up again. Just slightly. It's not too bad in this one. Let's try next cap. Try the next good one. There should be very similar results. Look at that, 8.4 volts sitting in it still. So these were actually rigidly drained right down and they've, they've come back. So the same thing again. So one thing I don't actually like about this is the way it drags the supply down. I would actually like to improve that, but it's just the nature of the design, unfortunately. Not you know to expect it, it's alright. In a way it's current limiting. So it's very similar results to the other one. About the same rate of charge. Similar kind of residual current sitting here and I'm sitting at getting close to that set of voltage, even though it's you know it's a rate at 100 volts, so you always got a bit of an overlap on them. Alright, do the same thing there, it's just sitting there. Check how quickly it discharges. It's looking fairly normal. It's really slowly coming down, so nothing wrong with that. Drain it out. Again, see the discharge rate. Yeah, looks pretty much normal. Draining out of steady steady rate. And it slows down as it gets lower because they all see the current um, the power dissipation is, is low is dropping with the low voltage. So that's all normal. Okay. Now we'll try this cap which I know is the bad one. And let's check the results on this. Residual voltage, much higher. Now, what does that mean? Well, it probably means that it's got a higher internal resistance. It probably means that this one here has got a higher resistance than this one. For the fact it's got a residual voltage sitting in there. And you see it's dropping down. This, this is doing it here, is, is dragging it down. Alright, so let's charge it up. See how quick it'll come up? Yeah, 
No, it's starting to struggle a little bit. So it initially comes up quite quickly and then it slows down a fair bit. So I don't know, maybe it's just my interpreting the way it's sitting, but we'll see what happens when I'll release it. Try and get around a similar sort of voltage level, 105 volts or so. That part looks pretty much the same as the others, maybe slightly higher current, not much. Now what happens when I release it, let's see. Look how quickly it's dropping down. So it tells you straight away it's got a huge amount of internal leakage. Yeah, and okay, so let's do a drain. Boom, straight down to nothing. So let's charge it back up again. And I'll show you another. See, it's already straight back up to voltage immediately, like that. Yeah. So, and drain immediately down to a low voltage, release it straight back up 34 volts. So it's got high internal resistances. Again, voltage, bang, straight there. So this is charging up, but it's internal resistances. I mean, it can't actually uh, discharge and charge properly through the terminals. So that's a good indication that this is a really bad cap because it's instantly res responding and doing some really weird stuff, all right? So there you go. That confirms that this cap is definitely bad. This one is probably on the way out and this one seemed all right. So yeah, that's how you use it. And you can see that voltage is, you know, even if it's counter discharging. Ignore what I'm doing now, just dropping it down to make it a safe voltage next time. Um, there you go, it's popped back up straight away. So the internal resistance is so high it can't discharge back into the resistor in here to drain it. So, right, thought you might want to see that.